Hi there, my name is Vic Veer. I'm an ENT consultant surgeon working for the NHS. And I'm terribly sorry about the clickbait title. Now the information in this video is related to the video I did on being overweight and how it relates to obstructive sleep apnea. The point I'm really trying to make here is that BMI is important, not the amount of fat you have. So the Incredible Hulk has a huge BMI, but as you can see, very little fat in his body. So people wouldn't naturally look at him and think, oh yeah, he must be snoring at night, he must have obstructive sleep apnea. But in actual fact, a lot of people who are muscle bound or these power lifters, these sort of muscle gyms that you sometimes see, those people who have got enormous amounts of muscle on their bodies, they've got a very high BMI and therefore correspondingly they have a very high AHI or a very high risk of obstructive sleep apnea. Now these people who are involved in weightlifting know that when you push your body to extremes you get problems such as this. And a lot of people are surprised to know that many people who are weightlifters or powerlifters end up needing CPAP at night, even though they have hardly any fat on their body at all. And when you ask them about it they'll say a lot of their friends also have CPAP machines also in the same gym. And honestly if I had the time and funding I'd definitely want to put together a trial about this because this is a population that's incredibly fit and are very health conscious. And it would also be really interesting to see if there's any common reasons why these people get obstructive sleep apnea. But for me the most important point of making this video is to challenge your beliefs about weight gain, weight loss and obstructive sleep apnea. I'm going to leave a link to the video where I talk about this in far more detail but for the meantime I've come to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching.